What's up guys, this is Adil from Flash Game Studio. In this video, we will learn how to create a simple stopwatch and Windows Form application. Open Visual Studio. Create a new project. Now, if you are using 2019 version of Visual Studio, so you have to do some setup. Select c -shop here. Select Windows and select Start. Now, you can see different options here. You have to select Windows Form application. Go next. Give an name to your project. My stopwatch. Select the location. And hit the create button. In this form window, we will do all the design of our application. First, we need some buttons. Box and search bar button. Drag the button into the form. If you can't see this toolbox, go to the view and search bar toolbox. It will automatically appear here. Now let's change the properties of the button. Click on the button. And now you can see all the properties of the button. Again, if you can't see this properties window, go to the view and search for properties window. First, let's change the background color of the button. The color, select gray. Not good. This color is okay. Change the font color to white. Change the size of the font. 26. Hit OK. And finally, change the text to star. As you can see, this is our first button. We need two more buttons. So copy this button, go C and paste it B. Paste it again, Ctrl E. And change the name of these button. Now let's change the background of the form. Click on the form and to the background color. Select gray. Okay. Now the next thing that we need to do is to add a, a label. Box and search bar. Drag the label into the form and change font size to 72 hit ok change the color of the font to white and change text this is our label it show hours minutes seconds and milliseconds now the final thing that we need to add is the timer. Box and search bar timer. Take the timer into the form. Click on the timer and enable the behavior. Double click on the form. This is our form class. We need to initialize our stopwatch class in the form method. So for that we need to use a namespace system dot diagnostics. Okay. There the glass stopwatch. 
and create an object of that class. The object name will be stop class. Initialize the stopwatch class. Save it. Go back to the design window. Now we need to implement the start button. Double click on it. This is our start button method. We can use the object of the stopwatch class to access different methods, properties, and fields of the stopwatch class. So type stopwatch dot start. This start method will help us to start the stopwatch when we hit the start button. Save it and run the application. When we hit the start button, as you can see, nothing happened. It's because that we haven't added the timer method yet. So let's add it. Double click on the timer and type table dot text string dot format hours and it's seconds and milliseconds watch dot left save it and run the application when we hit the start button as you can see now it's working Now let's add some functionality to the pause button. Double click on it. And the object of the class stop watch start and stop method at start stop. This stop method will help us when we hit the pause button, it will stop the counting. Save it and run the application. And hit the start button. When we hit the pause button, as you can see, the counting is stopped. And the last thing to do is to implement the reset button. Double click on it. And the stopwatch last object but reset method. S and run the application. Hit the start button, pause it, and reset the stopwatch. Start again and reset it. That's our simple stopwatch application. If you haven't watched my previous videos, link is given in the description. Go and check it out. That's it for this video. Catch you guys in the next video.